Okay, guys, in the spirit of fall, we went fall book shopping. So I have a couple books here, and I actually have a couple more coming from Amazon, but they're not going to be here for two more days, I think. So I don't know if they'll make it in this video, but hopefully they do. But I know the lighting is a little bit darker. I wanted it to be more of a fall mood with my little knitted sweater shirt thing. But we're going to start. I went to Books A Million. That's the closest bookstore to us, so we have a Books A Million. And I got four books, and then I'll show you the two books that Cameron got. So the first book I got is Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice. Is this not the most fall cover you've seen in your entire life? Now, I know this book is not about to be, like, profound. It may. It may. But I think this is going to be, like, a cheesy little romance. I believe this is about... She works at a coffee, coffee shop, and... They just moved in a new chain coffee shop across the street from them. So they're like competing to see who has the best pumpkin spice latte, I believe. That could be wrong, but nice little rival workplace romance. But the cover is like everything I could have asked for in fall. So had to get this one. Next, we have a little thriller. I don't read thrillers ever and I've never read anything by Riley Sager. This is the only one they had in hardcover, and for some reason that meant it was better. But I don't actually know this, but it's probably just, just a newer release, and I have no idea. But I actually haven't heard anything about this one, and I have heard stuff about Riley Sager's other books, like The Only One Left, Lock Every Door, and like books like that that are like really popular. So I could have picked one of those, but I just picked this one because I haven't heard anything about it. And sometimes I would rather go into a book very blind than know the premise. But... This one is kind of about a boy who was, I think at the time in middle school and they were camping in the backyard and he wakes up to his friend being dead in the tent and like he's the only witness. And then I believe many years later, he's coming back to that town and like trying to figure it out. So hopefully this is good. I'm giving thrillers a chance. I don't remember the last time I read a thriller or even if I've ever read one before. Like I've read good girl's guide to murder which is like a ya scary ish book so that's like the closest thing i've come to a thriller but i think i would really like it the only thing is i'm a baby and i hate spooky stuff and i hate being scared so that could be a problem the next book i'm actually so excited for cam found this and he was like i think you would really like this i think you should get this but now that we've gotten it he's like i actually want to read it too and we got to the car and he was like wait let me see that book again and he was like, I actually think I may read this next, but I think I'm going to start it today. But he's starting, he's on another book. So once he finishes that, he'll read this. And it's so short. Like I, I love a good straight to the point story. And the books I've been reading have been like thicker. And so I just need a little palate cleanser, fun, short little story. You know, I think it, it is less than 300 pages, but the inside of it is like absolutely beautiful. Like that's so pretty. I believe this is a newer release and I think that's how Cameron found it. He just looked up fantasy new releases. But it sounds a lot like How to Train Your Dragon. I believe from what I remember Cameron saying, it's like this kid's dad is a dragon executor, I believe. And he's like having to take over his dad's business as doing that and he hates it. But then he gets a call that he has to come and exterminate this castle that is full of dragons. So it sounds a lot like How to Train Your Dragon, but I think it'll just be a fun little read. Now, apparently this author is like really popular in like the fantasy realm. So we'll see. And then the last book that I personally got is not even fall related, but it was on sale and it's so pretty. So I had to get it. It's called Cinder which is um, by Marissa Meyer, who is the same person who read, who read, which is the same person who wrote The Renegades, which I read recently and I absolutely adored. So I was like, I definitely have to read these because I've heard a friend mention them before, but this is a collector's edition. So this is like the box, which is so pretty and it's like very vibrant and I like it for that. But this is the cover of the book. It's like a little robot hand, which I think is like so cool. And then the back says Once Upon a Time, but it's actually a really cool edition. And I don't know if like the other books in the series come in a collector's edition like this, but hopefully they do and I can get more so that they'll be like matching, but it's pretty nonetheless. So I'm not sure how I'm going to display it because I really like this, but I also really like this. So not sure. We'll figure that out. 
So those are the, all the books that I got. And this was $10. Did I mention this was $10? I got it for $10. I, um, it was on sale in Books A Million for like $12. And with the teacher's discount, you get a couple dollars off. So it was only $10 for a $35 book. Now onto the books that Cameron got for himself. I did not pick these books, so I have no idea what they're even about. But we have Everyone on This Train is a Suspect, which is a thriller. And I'm assuming... It's everyone on the train is a suspect. Um, I actually read a little bit of this. Like the little blurb, whatever it is. And it's about like, it's a community of serial killing like writers, I believe, who are taking a train to this convention of sorts. That could be so wrong, but this is a short little thriller. And I think thrillers are usually shorter, but... Cam got this, and I may actually read it if he reads it and says that he, like, likes it. So, that's the first one. And then he got this new series, I'm assuming, because it says one on it. The Silver Blood Promise, The Last Legacy. So, that looks pretty cool. It's a cool cover. No idea what it's about. Um, deprived of his chance to make an amends with his mistakes, he vows to unravel the mystery behind his father's death. So, that sounds fun. Maybe I'll read it if Cameron just really likes it. But I'm so excited for these books that I got. I don't know if I'll read this soon because I'm trying to read all my fall books this month in October because I'm not going to read fall books in November because November is Christmas. And I know some people don't think Christmas is until December, but I love Christmas and it starts in November. So I need to finish at least these three and the other two that I got from Amazon during October. So I'll show you me getting the other two books now. We got the package in for the other two full books that I got. Here they are. Okay. These two books. This one is The House Witch. I literally just looked up on Amazon books like Halloween Town and this was like the first one that came up. It's very like, it feels very heavy. Like, and it's very thick. But it's really not. Well, it's like 500 pages, so it's kind of thick. It's called The House Witch by Della Maha. <laughs> but it's a really cute cover, and it has a cute little cat. So it's about this guy who is a witch, I believe, and he left his town because he doesn't want people to know that he's a witch. And he started working for this king and queen or royal family. And... I think eventually they found out that he's a witch too and we'll see i don't really know the back is also really cute too but i know he has a little sidekick cat so perfect for fall and then the next one i got is rewitched by lucy jane wood this one is a really cute cover as well i believe she has a bookstore and she's like struggling to keep it up i don't know for sure if it's a bookstore or not but she has some sort of business that she's struggling with and so she's always busy with that and she never works on her magic which she is a witch as well she doesn't really work on her magic but she gets the task of proving herself or she will lose her powers by the end of the month and so it's just said in october so she's like fighting to keep her powers but it's honestly adorable and this one's not as thick so this will be an easier read this one is 370 I really like these. Like, this one's very fluffy. But those are all the books for my fall TBR. I have started the dragon book. And I've started the vlog for that one. But definitely subscribe right now if you have not yet. So that you can see me read all of these fall books and watch my fall vlogs. I'm also trying to get to 500 subscribers soon. Maybe by the end of the month or by the end of next month. So, we'll see if that's possible. But... I'm going to go read these, but I'm also going to do a couple other little fall things, and I'll be recording it for my next video. So, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Whoa. Did y'all see that? Thank you for watching. I'll try to do it again. Well, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, see you next time.